Hi, Casey. Welcome to the show. Hi, Doc. Uh, I got a question for you. Yeah, sure. Uh, eight and a half year old bedwetting. I just wondered if there's a more accepted way of dealing with him as far as talking to him, rationalizing. Uh, medically, there doesn't seem to be a problem, but. Uh, good. It, well, it, well, what? Uh, no, 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 that's good. I mean, I'm assuming he's already done the um, alarms and he's already done the, you know, fluid restriction. And now there's even these nasal sprays, these DDAVP sprays. I mean, I'm assuming he's done all those. No. No. Okay. All right. There, there's a lot of little behavioral techniques they could do. Eight and a half is a little bit older, you know, for bedwetting, you know, yeah. unless of course you're a pregnant woman, you know, that you could bedwet then. That's okay. I let my pregnant women bedwet. That's all right. But, um, you know, at eight and a half years old, uh, when you had said medically, he was all checked out. Um, what was done? Uh, I'm sorry. I don't know. I'm a grandfather. Your so grandfather. I'm... You're a good grandfather. Yeah. Let, let me guess. He comes to your house, spends the night and he pees. There you go. That yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, one way to solve that is don't let the kids spend the night. That'll do it. Yeah, I'll do it. But what I would recommend, have mom and dad, um, uh, you know, when, when they take them to the doctor, make sure they get a urological evaluation from like a pediatric urologist. And sometimes they'll even need a neurological evaluation. Once both of those guys say it's clear, then you really need to address the behavioral issues. And I think this may be just a little too much for grandpa to handle because obviously the kid doesn't want to do it. I mean, if the kid is doing it because he doesn't want to be there, all right, well, tell him, you know, look, if you have a problem with me, don't, you know, take no, it out no, on no, me by no. peeing in the bed. Does it at home also? Right, right. So uh, my guess is he's doing this involuntarily. And involuntarily, he needs to be retrained on on how to hold his bladder for the six to eight hours or 10 hours in which he's sleeping. But my recommendation is have a good urological evaluation, a good neurological evaluation. And then um, his pediatrician or family doc needs to look at the alarms that that they could do where it wakes him up as soon as he starts to leak and um, fluid restriction before going to bed and the DDAVP. Okay. Okay. Gosh, that was a great question. Thanks for calling. Thank you.